online stuff and we've got it and Photoshop has it, and, but they don't have this next step. So I'm going to click OK. It's going to take these uh, two shots, blend them together to make a panorama, but it's going to leave the telltale holes at the top and the bottom that happen when you're shooting panorama. Jack likes these, a lot of people don't. So we can, we can just say no here and leave it. Um, notice that we can also tell it to always perform this action. If you like this, click on that, click yes, and you'll never get bothered again. I'm going to leave that up for my next demo, but I'll click let yes and watch all of that be filled in. It's not going to move that, it's just going to fill that in, again, using content aware film. Pretty powerful effect. And boom. What? <laughs> That's astonishing. That is simply freaking amazing. <laughs> How one little yes box <laughs> allows you to go, you know, from that to that. It's just amazing. So I think this is going to be a huge hit. Like in Photoshop, you have to know how to make the selection, grow the selection, and then go choose fill, content aware fill, and hit enter. One, two, three, four, five. What six things? Here it can be done automatically. Yeah, this is this is new too. I mean, this is merging content aware with with photo. Yes. Yeah. Because yeah. we had photo merge, yeah. but we would have been left with those holes before, and it would be a challenge to fill those in. Now intelligently, it fills it right in. I think that's pretty incredible. Next merge style match. Here's another, uh, if I was a Photoshop user, here's another, I would buy Photoshop Elements just for this. So, very simple, on the right hand side is our image, on the left hand side, drag style image there. Where do I get my style image? Down at the bottom. You can also use your own images. So, any picture can be used to influence another picture. So, uh, let's grab uh, this one, a really high contrast black and white, drag it up there, and see the results. Let me see if we can look at this vertical and better. So that's the before, that's the after. Let's try the sepia tone one. Oops. We got a sepia tone, but it stays, the, co the color stays there. If we want the colors to change, we can tell it to transfer the tones also. So now when I click here, You'll see it's all see. So you have an option of just the, the overall style. Let's see what the sunset looks like. Okay, let's drag that up. I'll transfer tones. If it's too much, we can turn the style intensity down or up. We can turn the style clarity up and down. So you can see it's it's looking at areas, it's highlighting areas, I can enhance the details. I can also go into here and I can erase parts of what is being influenced or I can bring back that style. Completely live and editable uh, style. Of course we can reset, grab another one, this one's uh, making sure that I'm not launching anything on Facebook. You know, this catalog built with Photoshop Elements <laughs> 9, <laughs> pushing the button, I don't want that to happen. I got lots of friends on there, people, and some people are journalists, and I'm sure they would have something to say. So uh, share, and you can see over here on sharing, uh, we've got our online albums, of course, email attachments. It's smart enough to downsize them and, and, and affect them nicely. Video sharing online, go to phones. And here we're adding Flickr, uh, Facebook, uh, SmugMug, and you can go to Photoshop.com. Uh, uh, so if I click on, I'm just choosing this one photo, it could be 100 photos and 100 videos, whatever is in that bin. Remember, it's not just images, it's photo, video, and audio. So I'll click Share to Facebook. The very first time it says um, Authorize, and it will bring up your browser, and you log into your account, and you authorize it. Because I've done that, um, it's already knows that I'm logged in. I told it, keep me logged in, because I'm sitting here doing photos for you know, a few hours. I don't want to keep logging in. Um, upload photos from an existing, uh, to an existing album. So these are my albums on Facebook. 
And again, you have to allow it to do that. Once you allow it, it takes a second, it downloads, it's now connected through my Facebook account. That's an easy one, instead of having to put them on the desktop, having to go to Facebook, having to go to the album, have to load them in, it's gonna put them in there right for me. Um, I can upload photos to a new album. So this will create a brand new album on Facebook. Uh, I can also say who can see these. So these are all the typical things that you do in Facebook when you're making an album. Who can see it, what's the name of the album, what's the location, what's the description. And you can also um, click this plus button down at the bottom. And when you click on the plus button, it's now allowing you to add media without getting rid of that dialog box. You know, this will happen sometimes. You said go to Facebook and say, oh, I don't have the, all the right ones. Actually, I wanted to bring that one in and that one in too. Now, those are all the ones that I'm going to be bringing in. Or select all. And I can uh, say all the media in the current browser, a whole catalog, a whole album. I can have keyword tags in there, show only media that I've rated, and also show any hidden files. Because one of the things that you can do in the database here is you can hide files. Hide that one, hide that one. I don't want to look at that. Oh, you know what? Let's upload those at the same time. So um, I can click done, and it's going to add that media in there. I still haven't uploaded it yet. Making sure that I'm not launching anything on Facebook. You know, this catalog built with Photoshop Elements 9, <laughs> pushing this button. I don't want that to happen. I got lots of friends on there, people, and some people are journalists, and I'm sure they would have something to say. So uh, share, and you can see over here on sharing. Uh, we've got our online albums, of course, email attachments. It's smart enough to downsize them and, and, and affect them nicely. Video sharing online, go to phones. And here we're adding Flickr, uh, Facebook, uh, SmugMug, and you can go to Photoshop.com. Uh, uh, so if I click on, I'm just choosing this one photo, it could be 100 photos and 100 videos, whatever is in that bin. Remember, it's not just images, it's photo, video, and audio. So I'll click share to Facebook. The very first time it says um, authorize and it will bring up in your browser and you log into your account and you authorize it. Because I've done that, um, it's already knows that I'm logged in. I told it, keep me logged in because I'm sitting here doing photos for you know a few hours. I don't want to keep logging in. Um, upload photos from an existing, uh, to an existing album. So these are my albums on Facebook. And again, you have to allow it to do that. Once you allow it, it takes a second, it downloads, it's now connected through my Facebook account. That's an easy one. Instead of having to put them on the desktop, having to go to Facebook, having to go to the album, have to load them in, it's gonna put them in there right for me. Um, I can upload photos to a new album. So this will create a brand new album on Facebook uh, I can also say who can see these. So these are all the typical things that you do in Facebook when you're making an album. Who can see it, what's the name of the album, what's the location, what's the description. And you can also um, click this plus button down at the bottom. And when you click on the plus button, it's now allowing you to add media without getting rid of that dialog box. You know, this will happen sometimes. You said go to Facebook and say, oh, I don't have the, all the right ones. Actually, I wanted to bring that one in and that one in too. Now those are all the ones that I'm going to be bringing in, or select all, and I can uh, say all the media in the current browser, a whole catalog, a whole album, I can have keyword tags in there, show only media that I've rated, and also show any hidden files, because one of the things that you can do in the database here is you can hide files. Hide that one, hide that one, I don't want to look at that one. Oh, you know what, let's upload those at the same time. So um, I can click done, and it's going to add that media in there. I still haven't uploaded it yet. 